Hey guys, welcome back to Let Code. And today we have another test case that we are going to practice in Selenium, maybe Protector, maybe Playwright, maybe WebDriver, IU, or maybe Cypress. Okay. So whatever your field of area, probably you can do that. You can practice that. Um, so it's going to be very simple application. At the same time, we have few of the complex steps as well. Okay. So let me brief you what we have to do. So first of all, we have to navigate to this site. So that is sourcedemo.com and then uh, verify that title as swag labs okay so here is the title you can do the verification that's going to be very very easy and then what we are going to verify the login button text is capitalized okay so this is a little tricky here uh, you have to identify this one okay so here you can see that uh, the button text is basically login in capitalized okay but if i go and inspect um, here you can see that first of all this is not a button it's a type of input okay and the value here is login that is actually in the lower case okay not fully capitalized okay but you have to write a test case where it can uh, ver verify like the text is capitalized okay and after that we have to log in with the the standard user username and the secret source password okay so click on the login and do the login okay then verify default filter drop down is a to z that means uh, this is the filter drop down and the default value is a to z okay we have to verify that and add the first product to the cart because okay, this is our first product so we'll add to the cart and then verify the cart batch has one product batch is nothing but this one so within the red round color you can see that the number is one right so we have to verify the batch has uh, one product okay then add the last product to the cart. So if I just go down, you can see this is my last product, uh, test all thing. Then, uh, okay, you don't have to really go inside. I mean, just click on this, okay? Directly you can click on this. And then verify the cart batch value is increased. That means previously we have one, now it is two, okay? We have to do that verification. And then uh, remove the first product from the cart. So we are going to remove this one, okay? and then verify the cart badge is one product so now it's one okay so you have to just write a veri uh, verification uh, try to write the same in page object model that will be a little tricky but if you are going to write uh, in simple step using like main method or test ng it's going to be very simple okay but i will recommend you to try in simple steps first like driver.find element and once you are familiar with the test case you know how to write all the steps uh, then can try to convert that into a page object model okay or maybe any cucumber or something like that then you have to click on the cart so we'll click on this one and you have to verify the added product is available that means uh, first we add the first product then we add the last product the last product name is test all the things right so we have to verify whether that product is here or not okay then click on the continue shopping so far it's very easy uh, just few clicks and few verification but here is the uh, real game starts okay change the price filter from low to high okay so from low to high we will select this one this filter then verify the prices uh, sorted properly here it should be like uh, prices i have written price but uh, prices sorted properly that means uh, here 7.99 then we have 9.99 then we have 15 then again we have the same value and then we have 29 and 49 okay so you have to verify in that scenario in that uh, scenario like uh, whether the values are sorted properly or, or not okay only this step is going to take your little much time uh, i will recommend you to try by yourself if you are not able to do it uh, kindly refer this video here where i have described like how to use the um, comparator or comparable i think based on that we can write our test script okay so that's it for this uh, particular test script or test case however you say it i uh, will see you in the next one very soon okay and if you are going to complete maybe within uh, two three days kindly upload the code to the github and share with me in the comment so that other can also look at your code and they can also learn okay and i will also try to give my solution because these are little complex i think so so in that case if no answer from your side probably i can make a video on this as well okay so that's it for this video see you in the next one very soon have a great day